All right, so let's talk about making decisions with if statements. What does that look like? And how does that, how is that done? Well, we just have to code it correctly. First off, let's talk about what an if statement looks like. First off, the simple decision to make in the simple, the simple statement to make a decision is a basic if statement. In a basic if statement, a Boolean expression appears within parentheses. There's no space between the keyword if and the opening parentheses. Execution continues to the next independent statement. And we use the double equal sign to determine equivalency. I'm going to show this in a second. Looks like this. If quiz score equals 10, then print the quiz score is perfect. True. If it is true, it goes to the score is perfect. Otherwise, nothing happens. That's the Java if statement and its logic. All right. It's very important you'll notice that there should be no semicolon at the end of the if, the end of the if line. If you do that, then you end up with an empty block. It never, it, this next statement is not conditional. So that statement will execute no matter what the value of quiz score is. Um, when a semicolon follows if directly, execution just continues without any question. It's also important that you understand equivalency. If you use a single equal sign, that's an assignment operator and it will not work. You can store a Boolean's expression value in the Boolean variable before using an if statement. So I can take a variable that's a Boolean and put it in an if statement. I can use standard relational objects to compare values of primitive data types, like the double equal sign, but I can't use that for an object type or a reference type. So I can only compare primitives of the double equal sign. And I can use equals or not equals for that. If I'm going to compare an object, I need to use a function within the object, something like equals. Otherwise, I'm just comparing the memory addresses. And it will always, almost always return false if I'm not comparing the exact alias. We'll talk more about that in the future. But first, let's step into some code. So there's a very basic program here. I'm asking the question, am I hungry? If I'm hungry, I'm going to eat something. I think you saw that in my flowchart before. All right, so I'm just going to run this program. And it asks the question if I'm hungry. And I'm going to say, I'm not hungry. And so it leaves the program. If I was to run the program and say, I am hungry, then I eat something. This is very straightforward. You can see the program here on the right. Um, I'm bringing in a scanner. If I bring in, if I say I'm hungry, it basically I ask the question, print out that to the console, I'm hungry. And then I say, if it's one, if the next int equals one, then print eat something. Otherwise, I mean, there's no else statement here, just an if statement. That's what controls this very basic program. But we're going to do a couple of errors. We're going to generate some errors here. I'm going to come here and I'm going to put a semicolon at the end of line nine. I'm going to save this and I'm going to run the program again. Am I hungry? No, I'm not hungry. All right? Did I not compile this? I did not compile this. Let's try this again. All right. All right. Now, am I hungry? No, I'm not hungry. Eat something anyway. Crazy. That's because I put the semicolon there and this is no longer conditional. It's going to run no matter what. Let's make a different error. Let's make kb.nextint equal one instead of double equals one. And what's going to happen is a whole host of things, but it's going to tell me unexpected type. The reason it's an unexpected type is I've assigned an int. I don't even know what, I don't even know what to do. All it knows is that it needs a double equal sign and I gave it a single equal sign. So make sure when you're comparing, you're using either double equal sign or uh, not equal sign, a logical operator. If you're comparing reference types using equals, um, but this will fix that error. But very basic flow. Flow control looks like a single diamond with one passing reference. Simplest way of handling our um, our if statements.